this one focuses exclusively on the diminished scale. So it's a great way to get to know it because, of course, the power chords are all on one string. Um, if you do struggle with this, my recommendation is to play the idea as a single note idea, just using the root note. I'll give an example in the first bar. It can be a bit tough, this one, because we have to use the fourth finger quite a bit. And uh, not just that, but we're actually using hammer-ons with the fourth finger. So just a suggestion there, uh, you can build up to it just by using it as an open, sorry, not an open string, but just a one string riff. And then when you get good at that and comfortable with all the positions and where you're going, you can then start trying it with the power chord shape. So we start in the ninth position. We're going to start by playing the open D power chord though. And then we're going to strum the ninth and hammer to 12th fret. Uh, my third finger gives my fourth finger a bit of a hand there. You'll see it comes down as well. The middle finger tends to sort of cling a bit to the first finger for some reason. I don't know why, it doesn't really matter. It is possible to do it just with the fourth finger, but I think it is better just to let the third finger come down if it wants to. Now you want to strum then the ninth fret and slide to the sixth, so we're moving to the sixth position. And then we're going to strum the ninth from that position and pull back to the sixth fret. Like that. Now that can be a bit tricky uh, because of, uh, you may have heard there the first time I did it, there was a bit of noise there. Reason being, because this finger here was just a bit too flat. So it should be fretting this power chord, those two notes, but it shouldn't be completely flat like a bar chord. It should have a bit of lift here, just so that these four strings, the D, G, B and E, don't ring out. Uh, you can test that by just doing what I'm doing there. So you strum all the way through. The only two notes that should ring out are these two. Okay, so from that point, then we're going to shift to the third position, strum and hammer to the sixth, then strum the third and pull to the open. Go back to the third, hammer to the sixth. Strum third and pull to open. If that is in fact those two beats repeat themselves. Note again the muting technique I'm employing. So the first finger after the pull off, just resting gently across the G, B, and E strings. Moving into the second bar, we're going to start with the open, then strum twelve. Ham sorry, strum nine and hammer to twelve. Strum the ninth and slide back to the 6th fret. Re-strum the ninth, and this time pull back to the 6th fret. Which of course I think is the same as bar 1. Yeah it is. So there you go. Now the second half of the bar is a little bit of a variation. It's more just cut short honestly. So we just go to the 3rd fret, strum, ham hammer to the 6th fret. Strum 3rd, pull to open. And just finish on the 6th fret. We'll give that a bit of wiggle. It is a quarter note after all, so there's plenty of room to do that. So let's have a listen to bars one and two, a little bit slower. 